Friends, recently central government has approved a new EV policy. This EV policy is related to obviously electric vehicles, but it does not relate to EV subsidies. As we all know, Fame 2 subsidy is going to end on March 31st, 2024. And from April 1st, central government has introduced a new scheme called E-Mobility Promotion Scheme 2024. So under this scheme, every two-wheeler will get 10,000 subsidy, every light three-wheeler will get 25,000 subsidy, and every heavy three-wheeler will get 50,000 thousand subsidy so this subsidy will be implemented from april 1st i made a dedicated video on this e-mobility promotion scheme 2024 the link will be in the description please go ahead and watch after this video and this newly approved policy is related to import tax on electric cars as we all know currently the companies has to pay 70 to 100 percent import duty on electric cars but from now companies has to pay only 15 percent import tax on their imported electric cars so in this video let's discuss about this newly launched launched scheme from central government in detail. Before diving into the video, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, Ministry of Commerce and Industries issued a notification about this newly launched EV policy. So previously, every company has to pay 70 to 100 percent import duty on their electric cars. For example, let's take BYD Seal. Recently, this electric car launched in India at an showroom cost of 43 lakh rupees. But the starting showroom cost of the same electric car in China is 22 lakh rupees. So if BYD imports this Seal electric car in India, they have to pay 100 percent import duty. The showroom cost in China is 22 lakhs and the showroom cost in India is 43 lakhs for the same car. So like this every company has to pay 70 to 100 percent of the import duty to the Indian government if they import electric cars in India. This is the main reason Tesla not to enter in India till now. Our PM Narendra Modi ji has visited US and met Elon Musk and Elon Musk also showed interest to set up their manufacturing plant in India but till now the deal haven't closed. The main reason for that is this import duty. Elon Musk has urged the Indian government to reduce import duty from 100% to 15% as to import their electric cars in India and to study the EV market in India. He also promised to set up a manufacturing plant in India within 2 to 3 years after starting the import of their electric cars and start selling of their electric cars. But Indian government has not approved this request till now. But recently a new policy has been introduced for this import tax. So government has reduced the import duty from 100% to 15% for all the global EV companies. From now, whoever the company imports their electric cars to India has to pay 15% of the import tax. But there is some terms and conditions over here. So as the Indian government has reduced the import tax from 100% to 15%, every global EV company will be benefited with it. But what's the benefit for Indian government? So Indian government has issued some terms and conditions as to qualify for this newly launched EV policy. So let's look at the terms and conditions one by one now. The first conditions for the manufacturers to qualify for this EV policy is the electric vehicle manufacturer should invest 4,150 crore rupees in India and should build their own manufacturing plant within three years after starting their business in India. This means if the company starts importing their electric cars from today, they have to build their own manufacturing plant in India within three years after commencement of their business in India and they should invest at least 4,150 crores for their manufacturing plant in India. And the second condition is the limit for importing their electric cars is 8,000 per year. The company can only import 8,000 electric cars per year and they can sell that 8,000 electric cars in India by paying 15% of the import tax. And the third condition is that EV manufacturer must use 30% of the components from the local markets to build their electric cars. And the manufacturer need to reach 50% of the domestic value addition within 5 years after commencement of their business in India. So these are some of the terms and conditions which companies use to accept and agree as to take this 85% of the import tax relaxation from Indian government. So a company has to invest 4,150 crores on their manufacturing plant within three years after commencement of their business in India. So due to this, all the global manufacturers can now import their electric cars in India and they can sell their electric cars here. And after commencement of their business, they can study the Indian market. And according to that, they can build their 
manufacturing plant in India and they can launch new electric cars from India itself and they can export their electric cars to other countries which are made in India. So all the global manufacturers will be benefited with this and the Indian government will also get benefit from this. So Indian government is promoting electric vehicles in India by implementing all these new policies. And one more thing, youngsters will get 4 lakh plus direct and indirect jobs by setting up these manufacturing plants in India. So this is all the election stunts. As the Lok Sabha elections is getting closer, the government is introducing these policies to encourage electric vehicles in India. So as we saw since past 10 years, Narendra Modi ji has promoted electric vehicles industry so much and he has promised to encourage the electric vehicles industry and he has promised to promote electric vehicles industry and solar industry for the next 5 years if he gets win in this Lok Sabha elections. So till now central government has kept a hold on this policy and as the elections are getting closer so they are launching this new kind of policies as to attract the voters to get the votes for this Lok Sabha elections. So these are the complete details on the new EV policy launched by Indian government. So what's your opinion and thoughts on this new EV policy please let me know in the comments and if you found the video informative please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe electric vehicles india go green go electric